begin. He was hungry, he said. It was time for lunch. Besides, he said, there's the lighthouse. We're almost there. That's all fine and well, Amelia, but where is the story? Here, here. The narrative is not the author's primary concern, you see. I understand that. Never has been with Virginia Woolf. Is it too much to ask for something to happen? It's what's going on inside the people. It's the psychology of the people. It's the psychology of the people going on a boat ride, Isla. <laughs> <Evan>. <laughs> Who are you? I'm poor Ben Gunn, I am. Were you shipwrecked? No, you mate. Marooned! <laughs> Three years ago gone and lived on goats. Three years? And berries and oysters. Oysters? When is the long night I've dreamt of cheese? <laughs> Toasted mostly. <laughs> well done, Grandpa. Be not afeard. The aisle is full, full of, of noises. Sounds, Sounds and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about mine ears, and sometimes voices. I love that. I took that dear hand, held it a moment to my lips. Oh. We entered the wood and wended homeward. Reader, I married him. If ever there was someone who earned a happy ending, it was me. Come <laughs> You answer to the name of Ernest. You look as if your name was Ernest. <laughs> you are the most earnest-looking person I ever saw in my life. It is perfectly absurd you're saying your name isn't Ernest. Sydney, bravo! Would you care for more pie, <laughs> oh, Mr. Stark? No. Jim. Sydney. Leave it to me. When I was three, I was hardly me. When I was four, I was not much more. When I was five, I was just alive. Alive. Yes. <laughs> but now I am six. I'm as clever. Clever as clever. So I think I'll be six now for ever and ever. Ever and ever. Oh, you did that beautifully. <laughs>